So the next thing we're gonna test with our barrels is tuning. So this is my normal barrel and I'll play two of the standard tuning notes so you guys can see um, what they look like on my tuner. And you can see for the most part, this stays green and my throat tones on my personal clarinet are always a little bit flat, but usually still close to the center. And we'll do the plastic barrels next. So now we'll do the same thing with the plastic barrels. I'll start with the higher tuning notes and then the throat tones. So these two notes compared really great with my regular barrel, but um, we'll do the throat tones next. So unfortunately on the 3D printed barrel, my throat tones are extremely flat. So we'll have to figure out something we can change to get those in tune. So we'll do the same experiment with the first one we tested, the blue one. So in conclusion, thoughts from a clarinetist about 3D printed barrels. Um, I think they look really cool on my clarinet, so I think that's fantastic. I do think that they might be slightly louder and could cut through an ensemble because um, the sound is a little bit brighter. So um, if I were to get this more in tune, places I would use this would be for an outdoor concert or when I'm sitting in an orchestra and I'm all the way in the back and I need to be heard um, from the front. But I will say that compared to my Bakun Fat Boy barrel, um, there, these uh, 3D printed ones are still missing the depth of sound that comes from um, the wooden barrel, but I don't think the sound was bad. And I think some changes in the future and we could really be on to something.